Ali, go ahead and uh, go ahead and check the screen share right now. Um, all right, one second. Bro, what? How did you dupe that, bro? What? I may, so many diamond pickaxes. I may or may not have duped just a few pickaxes. So I found a dupe glitch on Hive, and I'm making a video on it. But wait, I still want to be eligible for Hive's YouTube partner rank, so allow me to explain myself real quick. If you go on the Hive's website and look on the partner page, you'll see that one of the requirements is that you don't have content that depicts breaking the Hive's rules. Now you're probably thinking that a video about a dupe glitch would be content that depicts breaking rules, but let me explain. Now if you go ahead and look at the rules on the Hive website, you'll see that the rule pertaining to glitches says that you have to play fairly and not abuse glitches in the game or in the client. And as you'll see later in this video, this glitch isn't really something that you can abuse, and even if you did do it, it wouldn't give you an unfair advantage. So when doing this glitch, you are still playing fairly, and you aren't abusing the glitch because it can't be abused, so it's not really against the rules, and I still should be eligible for Hive's YouTube partner thing. But just in case, you still shouldn't do this glitch in a public game, and only do it in a custom server of which you are the host of. Because as the Hive website says, in a custom server, the host makes the rules, and as long as you're not cheating or modifying your client, it's allowed. This would include abusing a glitch because you don't need to modify your client to do it. Not that this glitch would be considered as abusing a glitch, but just in case, it's better to stay safe and keep it in custom servers and not do it in a public game. This glitch is mainly a visual bug, but you can still do some pretty cool things with it. You'll see what I'm talking about in just a bit. Also, if you would like the video, that'd be great. But first things first, let me explain how to do it. There are actually multiple ways you can do it, but the easiest way, in my opinion, is just to do it with a chest. So what you want to do is go next to the chest that you're going to do it with, and then place the item that you want to dupe in your hand. It doesn't have to be in any specific slot, but there should be at least one empty inventory slot to the left of the item. And then what you want to do is I'm on PC so I'm going to right click to open the chest and then as soon as you right click you want to drop the item like at the exact same time so I'll be pressing Q to drop whoops so I'm going to open the chest and drop the item at the exact same time like this and as you can see we have duped our sword this right here is a duped sword and this is the real one and we can go ahead and we can do this multiple times and create pretty much as many swords as we want now all these other swords besides this one are not 100% real, they're more like ghost items. And so if we go ahead and move them, like this, or do anything with them really, they disappear. Same thing with anything, regardless of whether or not it's a weapon, such as like an ender pearl. You can go ahead and do it with this. Alright, here we go. Right there. And if we go ahead and we like try and use the fake ender pearl, it just won't work but just because it doesn't work and they disappear doesn't mean that you can't actually do stuff with this and I'll explain what I'm talking about in just a minute in addition to being able to do it with uh, stacks of one you can also do it with uh, larger stacks all the way up to 64 so if you go ahead and try and dupe this stack of stone I messed up let's try that again there we go we have just duped it into two stacks of stone and even three stacks, just like that. All right, now that you actually know how to create the ghost duped items, allow me to show you what you can do with them besides just having them disappear like that. There's actually two pretty cool things, two main things that you can do with these items, and the first of which is you can actually double jump with them. So if we go ahead and we find some blocks, um, I'm going to find solid stone, not crumbling cobblestone. There we go. Alright, so we can go ahead and take these blocks. And uh, I'm going to build a wall really quick. So I've created a pretty short two block, two block tall wall here. And what we can do now is go ahead and create a duped block of this stone. Just like this. And here we have our duped stone. And another way that you can create duped blocks besides the uh, besides doing it with the chest is by taking two in your hand and then it can be more than two and then throwing one out at the exact same time or like a second after you place it so we're just gonna place it and throw like that and then we threw out two 
which we only had to and we still have one in our hand so this is another duped block and now what we can do with these duped uh dupe blocks of andesite is give ourselves a double jump so if we go ahead and time it right we can go ahead and jump over a two block tall wall just like that pretty pretty cool now it is a little bit hard to time if you have high ping like i just missed it there i mean if you have low ping it would be hard to time if you have high ping it's easier so if you like go on an asia server uh, and you have like a higher ping on Asia, it would probably be a lot easier to do just because it's lagging a bit more. But if your ping's pretty good, then it's going to be pretty hard to get that double jump right there. If it was really laggy, like really, really laggy theoretically, and if you were really quick too, you could create a whole bunch of these. Like this. And then you could potentially get even higher uh higher jumps like you could keep on stacking them and keep going up so i'm probably not gonna be able to do this because my ping's too good and i'm not fast enough but we can try i messed up but as you like if you keep doing it you could pretty much to tower infinitely if you were quick enough so i have my friend ali here to help me uh demonstrate this so go ahead and like dupe an item right now Get it. yeah I did it. all right are you holding the are you holding the sword in your hand right now oh uh, yeah Alright, so as you can see, the, the item that he duped is completely client-side. So for us, we can't see that he's holding a sword at all, but for him, it looks like he's holding it. Alright, so now he has a duped stone block. Go ahead and double jump, Ollie. Alright, and as you can see, we can't even see him place the block. He just jumps up, and to us, it looks like he has, like, jump packs or something. But in reality, he is just using ghost blocks. Pretty cool. Alright, so the other cool thing that you can do with this glitch besides double jumping is you can get infinite durability on your items. So if we go ahead here and we dupe our pickaxe a few times. Alright, so I have gone ahead and duped my pickaxe a few times. Uh, this right here is the real pickaxe. And then all of these ones are the fake ones. And if we go ahead and use the fake ones to mine up some ore... We'll actually be able to mine that ore, and the pickaxe will disappear, but it won't take any durability. And so we can continuously do this, and we'll be able to mine pretty much anything we want to. As though we had the pickaxe, even though it's just the ghost pickaxe, allowing us to have pretty much infinite durability. So although, yes, you can get infinite durability, it isn't exactly too useful, because it's pretty unlikely for you to ever run out of uh, pickaxe durability in a match of Sky Wars, unless you're trying to mine up the entire map, which if you are, then then this is probably the uh, probably the strat for you to do to get infinite pickaxe durability. But yeah, that's the other cool thing that you can do with this. As well as being able to do this in Sky Wars, you can also do it in other Hive game modes too. So let's go ahead and get into a game of Treasure Wars real quick. Alright, so here we are in a match of Treasure Wars, and we can go ahead and buy something to dupe with, like a sword. And all we need to do is use the Ender Chest, and we can just, just like that, and we can go ahead and dupe stuff in Treasure Wars, just like we would in Sky Wars. Also, now that we're in Treasure Wars, that reminds me of another way you can do this with a bow. Let's go ahead and get a bow real quick. Alright, with a bow, you can, if you shoot at the ground, and then drop it at the exact second you pull back the, uh... You pull back the string, or press Q the exact same time you press, uh, you press right-click, like this. You can go ahead and dupe the bow. There we go. So in addition to being able to do this on the Hive, you can also do it on other servers as well. Not all of them... But some of them. One of these servers happens to be Lifeboat, and on Lifeboat you can do this, but you can actually do some very, very cool stuff of it that you can't do in Hive. And I actually made a video on this in the past, and if you've watched that video, you probably know what I'm going to do right now. But if you haven't, I'll be showing that right now. Alright, so here we are in a survival mode world, and what we can do now is go ahead and grab some wood and a crafting table, so I can show you what we're going to do. Alright, here's some wood. We should only need, like, two pieces. Maybe, maybe three, just to play it safe. So, if we go ahead and... 
craft this up into logs. We can create a ghost block just like we could on Hive. This is the duped block right here. But what we can actually do with this duped block is place it down. So if you go ahead and place this crafting table, and then we crouch and we place this duped block on the crafting table, the crafting table will open up and the duped, the duped block will be placed right there. And we can actually go ahead and... Let me pick up these real quick. We can actually go ahead and stand on that. Let me get this out of my inventory. Just like this. And now the crazy thing about this is that we are the only ones who can see this block. The only ones who can stand on this block. The only ones who can touch this block or all of that. We're the only ones. For everybody else, this block isn't here. They can't break it. They can't see it. They can't suffocate in it. They can just walk through it as if it wasn't here. And so to everyone else, we're basically flying right now. If somebody, if somebody walked by to us, to them, it would look like we were fly hacking. That's pretty crazy. But as for Hive, on Hive you can't actually use any interactables. So where on Lifeboat you can like use furnaces and use uh, crafting tables. Hive actually doesn't allow you to open them. And as for chests, if you notice on Lifeboat when you actually open a chest, you'll see that it actually uh, it actually opens, like you can see the animation, like it's actually opening that chest. But if you pay attention on Hive, the chests actually don't open. They don't make a sound and they don't like actually open, they just bring up the UI. Like they'll just bring up this chest UI without actually opening. So I don't really think they count as an interactable. So unfortunately, or I guess fortunately, you can't actually do this on Hive. So this flying or this actually being able to place the duped block does not work. I'm pretty sure this is more of a Minecraft bug, not a Hive bug. I'm just assuming this, by the way, so I could be wrong. But Lifeboat has had a similar bug to this for a very long time, and they've never patched it. So I don't think it can be easily patched. Then again, Lifeboat rarely updates their game, so who knows. And that's all there is to know about this dupe glitch that I found. I'd appreciate it if you would consider leaving this video a like and subscribing. Also remember to keep it to custom servers, and thanks for watching.